Okay. So again, uh, our next topic will be on uh, hypothesis testing. Okay. So let me share my screen. There. Okay, again, so when we are talking about hypothesis testing, later on we will uh, uh, test if your hypothesis is correct or we, sometimes we, we, we say that a hypothesis testing is, uh, we are testing if we will reject or accept our null hypothesis and what are these uh, hypotheses. So first is we define what is a statistical hypothesis. When we say statistical hypothesis, it means that it is an assertion or a conjecture concerning two or more population characteristics or parameter. So when we talk about conjecture or assertion, we are uh, uh, saying or asserting that uh, these two or more population parameters are maybe the same or different, okay? So what happens if we assert that a certain population parameter changes from one parameter, uh, from one value to another? Pwede rin masabi natin na lumiit or naging less than and then o pwede mas lumaki or we, we sometimes call it greater than. So notice also that uh, when we talk about statistical hypothesis, we are concerning two or more population. Ibig sabihin, we can... Uh, uh, check or we can uh, compare not only two population, we can also compare more than two population. So there are two types of statistical hypothesis. First is we have the null hypothesis. Okay, so again, when we talk about null hypothesis, it is a statement that no significant differences or effects exist between population parameters. Uh, this means, guys, that when we are uh, stating your null hypothesis, we are saying that there is no differences or there is no effect. So it means that uh, when we state our null hypothesis, we always state that there is no significant differences or there is no significant effect that happens to a certain population parameter. Okay? So it is a being that uh, your population parameter is still the same. Okay, the other uh, type is we call the alternative, the alternative hypothesis. So when we say about alternative hypothesis, of course, it's the alternate of your hypothesis. So it's the opposite of the null hypothesis. So we contradict our null hypothesis that, that it says na walang nangyari, di ba? So alternative, susabihin natin na may nangyari. Okay, and then specifically, we will state what uh, effect or what difference do we want to uh, have. So, pwedeng sabi ko kanina, pwede siyang lumiit. Ibig sabihin na mas, mas naging less than yung ating parameter o pwedeng mas lumaki or pwedeng uh, both sides. Later on, we'll call it a two-tailed and then one-tailed test. Uh, this uh, one-tailed or two-tailed test respectively. So, pwede natin sabihin na pwedeng lumiit, lumaki or pwedeng nagbago. Hindi natin alam kung lumiit o lumaki basta alam lang natin na nagbago yung value ng ating parameter. Okay, so, so example tayo. So for example, uh, we have uh, uh, this statement. We are to consider that uh, uh, a certain brand of uh, beer, for example, gives less than 15 ounces of beer per bottle. Okay, so ano yung null and alternative hypothesis na pwede natin i state. So for this, we can state that uh, as a null hypothesis, we can say that XYZ brewery gives 15 ounces of beer per bottle. So notice with this statement, we are saying that uh, para parehas o walang pagbabago to yung ating uh, uh, laman or volume of the uh, bottle or volume of the beer per bottle. Okay, so it means that there is no differences in the uh, amount of beer which is in each bottom. So what kind, uh, what would be our alternative hypothesis? Ito na yung medyo kailangan natin ma-specify. Ma so notice in our statement, it says that uh, we, we are asserting that there is less than. So 
we are to assert that as an alternative hypothesis also. We are to say na iyon ang magiging focus natin. So we wanted to check if there would be less than. That's why our uh, uh, alternative hypothesis will be that this company gives less than 15 ounces of beer per bottle. Okay? Or in symbols like this. Okay? So, sa statement, makikita natin kung ano yung uh, the, yung, yung null hypothesis laging halos pare-parehan if you notice later on with other example. They will be similar na, na we are all, we are gonna state the, the, uh, the null hypothesis in an equal sign manner. Parang laging equal sign. Tapos yung alternative, we will be using the inequality symbol or the not equal sign later. Let's have number two. Ito naman. Uh, unemployment rate in the rural areas is more than 35%. So what, how can we state our null hypothesis? So our null hypothesis can be stated that the unemployment rate in rural areas is 35%. Okay, so notice we are considering proportion among people. So proportion is another type of population parameter. Okay, or population characteristic. So we can state it P as 0.35. Now, how about your alternative hypothesis? So notice in our statement, we are to check if the unemployment rate exceeds 35 degrees. So we can say that as our alternative hypothesis. Hindi natin sasabihin na less than kasi ang gusto natin i-check is the one which is, which is exceeding 0.35. Okay. Now, how about this one? The new type of time and final shorter skid distance compared to the old one. Okay, so shorter skid distance. So, ibig sabihin, uh, uh, ang gusto natin ay mas maikli yung skid distance naman yan. So, how are you going to state our null hypothesis first? So, your null hypothesis, we say that uh, the same. Walang pagbabago yung skid distance compared to the old one. So, parehas lang yung skid distance. Okay? And then, uh, your alternative hypothesis notice we have to check for the shorter one. We have to check if it's shorter. If the uh, skid distance is not shorter, then it, it be hinyan, we do not uh, reject our null hypothesis. Okay, how about this one? There is a significant difference between the mean diastolic blood pressure of vegetarians and non-vegetarians. So how are we going to state our null hypothesis? So, we state that there is no significant difference. Walang pagbabago. Laging walang pagbabago or there is no significant difference yung ating null hypothesis. Okay, so for the alternative, we say that there is a significant difference. Dito, comparing to the previous example natin, uh, uh, notice there is a specific uh, uh, what do you call that? Specific change that we need to consider. Either there is a uh, uh, a decrease or an increase. Dito sa state natin na to, wala siyang sinasabi kung mag-increase or decrease, pero ang gusto niya lang ay magbago lang. So we can actually consider both. Okay, so in this case, our alternative hypothesis in symbol will be not equal sign. Okay, about this one. Jenny Marokama claims that the fuel consumption rate of a new model is equal to 35 miles per gallon. So, ito naman, uh, notice, of course, our null hypothesis will be equal. How about yung ating alternative? So dito, magkakaroon tayo ng konting debate dito because uh, we have, uh, there are two sides of the coin. Pwedeng, as you as a consumer or as a researcher na consumer, pwede mong tingnan kung alin ang mas gusto mo. Mamari, you are to consider cons consumption rate dahil sa consumption rate siya, gusto mo na mas mababa ang consumption rate kasi kapag ikaw bibili ng, ng sasakyan, gusto mo mas uh, makonti, mas konti yung uh, uh, fuel consumption sa sasakyan mas gusto mo yun. same thing with the manufacturer kasi pag mas mas uh, lesser yung uh, consumption rate ibig sabihin yung mas madaming bibili sa iyo kasi gusto mo na uh, mas tipid yung sasakyan di ba so yun yung uh, pero dito dahil sa hindi natin sure kung gusto mo na mas malaki eh, paano kung yung iba naman uh, dahil bigger yung consumption rate kasi 
more powerful uh, yung sasakyan ng pwedeng ganun. Dahil uh, better yung power niya, but, uh, mas malaki din naman ang uh, fuel consumption. So with that, we can just consider that there is uh, a, a difference, okay? Or there is uh, the, the consumption rate is not anymore equal to 35 miles per gallon. So with this, we can identify kung sakaling lumaki o lumiit yung consumption rate, mag-iiba yung ating uh, yung eh, maiiba yung ating nal hypothesis. Okay? Malino po ba yun guys? So I hope we were able to discuss here uh, the different types or the different ways on how we can state our alternative hypothesis. Notice yung ating uh, nal hypothesis, it is uh, stated in a very similar manner na we always state uh, our hypothesis in, in a way wherein the, the, the parameter does not change or we always use the equal sign symbol. Yung ating, uh, ating alternative, pwede, pwede yung mga uh, uh, inequality symbol natin na less than or greater than or pwede yung not equal sign. Okay. Okay now. So, as as part of our lesson, we will discuss what we call the type 1 error or the alpha error. And uh, these are actually two types of uh, errors committed whenever we, we, we mention or we do uh, a hypothesis testing. So what do we say or uh, when do we commit type 1 error or alpha error? So this is the time wherein we reject the null hypothesis when it is true. Okay. If you said the take note, I guess. Uh, uh, when doing null hypothesis, uh, when doing hypothesis testing, kasi our aim here is to reject your null hypothesis. Notice, dun sa mga statement natin kanina, we always mention, uh, parang ang aim kasi natin ay magbago, syempre. Unless, of course, our uh, experiment implies us na yung ating uh, uh, gagawin ay makakabuti kung mag-maintain. Pero usually kasi whenever we perform things, gusto natin kasi magbago. Or if not, then... Uh, uh, anyway, uh, ang type 1 error, sinasabi dito na we reject the null hypothesis when it is true. Tandaan, kapag nag-reject tayo ng null hypothesis, uh, we usually do it in a uh, parang sinasabi natin na final na yung ating experiment. So, uh, in doing experiment, sila, we, kapag hindi nila si sure talaga na we reject the null hypothesis, we 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 avoid it okay but in this case that's why uh, uh and the reason for that guys is that they don't want to commit type 1 error uh, type 1 error is a more grave offense na kasi pag sinasabi natin na we reject the null hypothesis we are already saying finality okay unlike kapag we do not reject pwedeng sabihin natin later on na when we do not reject your null hypothesis there is still another uh, pwede pa tayong gumawa ulit. Pero pag nireject na kasi natin, it's already final and executory. Paano kung mali ito? We are considering or we are uh, committing a type 1 error. Type 2 error on the other hand is what we call your beta error. This one is a lesser evil, but this is also evil. This is when we do not reject the null hypothesis when it is false. So kung titignan nyo, para silang magkaparehas, parang yung isang uh, negative lang nung isa. Pero kung titignan natin, magkaiba sila. Ito naman, uh, we are considering uh, your null hypothesis, we do not reject it, pero false siya. Bakit siya less, less evil? Kasi pwede pa kasi nating ulitin, baka nagkaroon na ng twitch sa ating experiment. Pag inulit natin, most probably kasi ma-reject na natin siya. Okay? So, unlike yung sa type 1 na nag-reject tayo na even if it is true, mas malaki yung uh, mali doon kasi uh, later on, I'll show you or I'll just show you the critical region para mas madali natin. Uh, sa sa one tail test kasi the art uh, ito yung alpha region natin na tinatawag or yung uh, rejection region. When, when we reject our null hypothesis, ibig sabihin, uh, pumasok sa napakaliit na alpha yung ating result. Okay? Ito yung acceptance region. Why is it the type 1 error is graver? Kasi 
na parang imagine niyo na if you have this region na napakaliit na nga tapos napunta pa dito ibig sabihin uh, your experiment or your data it has very big flow kasi napakalaki na nga yung ating area na kung pwede natin siyang ma-accept napunta pa siya pa dito pero yung type to error it's actually lesser offense kasi malaki kasi talaga ang pwedeng mapuntahan ng acceptance region so pwede pa rin siyang kunwari mali natin na andito lang sa napakalapit So even if it's here, pero naandun na pa rin sa acceptance region, we will still accept or we do not still reject your non-hypothesis even if it's false. So baka may konti lang tayo na naging problem. So this one is what we call also your left tail test. Ito yung uh, rejection region natin kapag less than yung ating uh, alternative hypothesis. Uh, ito naman yung acceptance ay rather the rejection region natin for right tail test. Ito yung acceptance region na nasa kaliwa. So kapag two tail test naman, so yeah, two tail, dalawang tails ang kailangan natin consider. So hahatiin natin yung alpha natin into two. And dito, uh, one minus alpha pa rin yung ating rejection ay acceptance region. Okay. Malinaw po ba guys? Okay, before we end, uh, uh, let me show you. This is the alpha or the critical numbers na gagamitin natin whenever we will be using your uh, your normal distribution curve or your z-curve. Ito yung mga uh, critical numbers for the uh, normal distribution. Ito yung kapag yung alpha natin ay 0.11, 0.282. Ito kapag ang alpha natin ay 0.05, 1.645. Pag ang alpha natin is 0.025 or usually ito ginagamit ito kapag ang alpha natin ay 0.05 over 2. Diba? Parang kalahati ito. Ito naman ang nagamit niya natin yung uh, z values. 0 0.02.232 and then 0.005 2.2525. Ito yung mga gamitin natin. With, ito yung magiging mga boundaries natin. Kung babalikan natin dito, yan yung mga z values dito sa boundaries na yan. Depende sa kung ano yung alpha natin. Okay? So notice, kapag right tail test, positive yung Z, yung left tail test natin, neg mag negative lang. Kasi itong nasa gitna, zero lang yan. And then this will be uh, uh, symmetric. So mangyayari dito, kung anong value natin dito, negative lang yun natin sa kalit. Okay? So kung left tail test, tulad ng kanina, mangyari, left tail test, yung alpha natin dito, mangyari 0.01, ang gagawin lang natin dito kung, kung ano yung z value ng 0.01, gagawin lang natin negative value yung z. Okay? And then, yung ibang uh, other, uh, other uh, distributions, yung normal distribution lang yun, paano kapag uh, inamit na natin na ibang distribution, meron ibang mga tables sa pwede natin ganito. Okay? So, Later on, we'll try to perform. Uh, pagdating natin sa... Ah, sorry. Pero pala na. Okay, so how do we perform your hypothesis testing? Okay. So first is, of course, we state the null and alternative hypothesis. Uh, itong part na to, when dealing with research, ito kailangan nyo rin itong state talaga para meron tayong focus kung ano yung gagawin natin sa research. Okay, so we set the level of significance. Uh, the test statistic, again, uh, the test statistic can be either your Z or your T or napakadami pang ibang test statistic. Okay, so your the one-tailed and the two-tailed can be considered when we look at our alternative hypothesis. Okay, so knowing this, uh, this uh, things in step two, we can identify your critical region and then your critical values. Para later on, when pag nakuha na natin yung ating computed value, we can just easily uh, uh, decide using the decision rule. In the decision rule, we just state that uh, we will reject the null hypothesis if your critical value falls under the critical region or yung ating uh, na-compute na value will be 
will fall under the critical region. So, kung right tail test siya, greater than siya dun sa critical value, pag left tail test, less than the critical value. We now compute, and then after that, we, we, we decide. And then we state the conclusion. If uh, kung ano yung magiging uh, implication ng ating decision sa step, step 6 sa ating uh, sa ating experiment. Okay. So these are some uh, these are the basic uh, test statistics that we can use in dealing with hypothesis testing. Okay, so if your uh, uh, standard deviation is known, pero bihira naman to, but if the standard deviation is known, the, st the test statistic is uh, that we will use is the Z, Z, Z statistic. Okay? And then ito yung mga, uh, uh, same thing kapag yung ating, uh, even if your uh, standard deviation is unknown, but your sample size is uh, at least 30 or very big, then we will still use the, the Z statistic. So that's why whenever we perform our uh, uh, experiment, better na para mihin lagi natin yung sample size natin. Kasi the, the more, the, the bigger the sample size, mas madali natin gagamitin ang magagamit yung ating uh, uh, test statistic na Z-statistic. Okay? Uh, because there is a theory, theory na kapag yung ating sample size is lumalaki, your distribution tends to be normally distributed now. Okay? Now, if your sample size is less than 30, we will use the t-statistic. Halos similar sila, pero yung, yung t-values ay mag-iiba naman to. Hindi na siya tulad kanina na z-values. Ito yung mga... Panggit uh, ko na to kanina. Okay? So, isa-isa na nga lang. Pero parehas lang. Hindi to tayo. Kunwari, if your alternative hypothesis is less than... Uh, yung ating critical region will actually be the less than the t value. So notice, uh, magkamukha lang ito din sa una. Pag less than, okay, negative to the z alpha. Nakuha natin kanina yung mga z's, di ba? Kapag greater than, greater than lang din. And then, ito. So kapag nag-fall siya under this region, we will reject our null hypothesis. Okay? Otherwise, we do not reject. Okay? So, that's it. May tanong po ba? Okay, thank you guys. So, kung walang tanong, we'll uh, call it a day. But before that, sa lagi ingatan. Okay. Thank you po.